Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 3 4K Capture Adapter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the capture device has a plastic case, has rubber feet on the bottom. Here we see the ports, it has HDMI in, HDMI out, so this has HDMI pass-through, has a USB Type-C USB 3 port, and it has audio in and out. Here we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, and we have an HDMI cable. Here we have a contact card in the manual. Let's take a quick look at it. Now you'll want to read through this on your own, but I'll give an overview of it. So this talks about what's in the box. This shows the ports. This talks about the LED status indicator. This talks about how to hook it up. So for audio capture, it says when plugged in, the audio capture will switch from the HDMI in to line in. However, the video pass through via HDMI out remains unchanged. And here we have the specs. So here we have the max pass through and recording resolutions. So the max pass through is 4K 60, max recording is 4K 30. So for recording, we can also do 1080p 60. Recording format is MPEG-4, H.264 plus AAC. There's a note here saying it does not support copy protected signals. Okay, so I'm going to get some equipment together that I can plug into this and then we'll test it out. Okay, so I have some hardware here. I have a PC on the right, it's a Ryzen 5. I have a Switch and I have the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 3. So I want to get this all hooked up. And now I need to install the software. So I'm on Avermedia's website. I want to go to support and then downloads. I'll search for the product. I'll just type in live gamer. I'll hit search. And here we have the extreme three. I'll click on it. I'll click my platform, which is windows. We have a couple different applications here. I'll do the rec central, not the beta version. I'll do the regular. I'll download it. I'll open this up. We have an installer. I'll install it. I'll hit finish. So this is booted up. Now I'm going to hook my hardware up. So we have HDMI in. I'll take the output from the switch and put it into HDMI in. And then I'll take the output here and hook it up to a monitor. That could be a monitor or TV. So let me get a wide angle view here. So I have the switch showing up here. On the Rec Central page, it's asking me if I want to record or stream. I'll say record. I'll hit next. It says choose the device. So I'll choose the Live Gamer Extreme 3. It says choose the microphone. I'll say none for now. I'll hit next. We have recording settings, it says optimal, and it says 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. And then we have our format is H.264, and then we can alternatively do custom. If we do that, we can do H.264 or H.265. We can set the resolution up to 4K, and we can change the FPS from 30 to 60. Now, if you're doing 4K, it'll tap out at 30. I'll choose optimal for now. I'll hit done. It says to record, hit record. I'll hit close. So I'll double click the top of the screen to make this full screen. On the left we have the video that's being passed from the switch through the capture device to the monitor. So this is going to be your lowest latency and then this is the capture on the computer. So the audio is currently coming through here. I think we can shut that off somehow. There's a little headphone button. If we hit that that will mute that. But I'll leave it on. Now I can also double tap this and it will make it full screen. So I'm going to start a capture here. And I may do cuts and parts just to get to the action. So I'll hit record. It's currently recording. You can see a countdown timer. I'll double click on this screen to make it full screen. And I'll do some playing. Okay, so I did some playing here. Let me do a latency test. So here we have the pass-through screen. Here we have the capture screen. I'm going to jump and then I'll show it in slow-mo. So I did a calculation that I put up on the screen how many frames delay it was on the capture video. Now typically you'll just play with the pass-through screen. So I'll double click on this to make it smaller. Then I'll hit stop. So in the upper left here, we have settings, we have record, and we have a little folder. So I'll click on the folder, and that will bring up the video. So I'll double click this to open it, and here we're playing it. 
So here I'll insert some clips of the captured video. Onward and upward. What a beautiful day. So what you just watched was the captured video. So if I minimize this, I can also go into my file explorer and go to videos and there's a rec central folder. And here we have the video we just recorded. So you can pull that into whatever software you want. So if we want to change the capture options, we can go to the pencil next to the Live Gamer Extreme 3. We can uncheck auto setup and we can change the resolution and refresh rate and such there. Now, if I try and change that now, we're not going to see a 4K option because the source that's going into it now is only 1080p. So I'm going to connect a 4K source up to this and we'll do a capture with it. Okay, so I'm set up to do some 4K video capture. So on the back of this monitor here, I have an Intel NUC computer. I have the display out of it going into the Avermedia. The resolution on it is set to 4K and I'm actually just using this dummy display. So this little thing is like a fake 4K monitor. So it thinks there's a 4K monitor plugged in. So what we see here is a preview of the 4K display. These are both 1080p displays, by the way. So in Rec Central, I'll go to that pencil next to the capture device. I'll uncheck auto setup and I'll change the resolution to 3840 by 2160. Refresh rate will stay at 30. I'll hit OK. So I'll hit record here. I'll double click to make this full screen and I'll start playing this video. So this is a 4K video that's playing. Okay, I'll hit stop here. Go look at our recording. And here we're playing back the 4K video. So I'll insert the clip of this now. So depending on how you're watching this, what you just watched may not be in 4K resolution, but you can still get a good idea of the ability of this to capture 4K because you'll see it's not skipping frames and things like that. So along with capturing, you can also set this up for streaming. That's down in this area here. So it has streaming platforms. So we can hit add and it looks like here we have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. Don't know this one. I don't know the ones on the bottom, but you can enter in your stream URL and stream key and stream directly from Rec Central. So this presents itself to the computer as a webcam. So I'll close down Rec Central and I'll open up the camera app on Windows 10. And here we can see the display. So we could record this here. So what this means is you could also connect this up to Zoom, Skype, or other software that accepts a webcam input or OBS. So this is very versatile. So this is going to be compatible with lots of different software, but I will say I really like the Rec Central software. I found it super easy to use. So that's the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 3 4K capture device. If you're looking for an easy way to capture HDMI video, I think this is a great option. It was super easy to use. You just plug it into your computer with the USB. You take video out of your device and put it into the input, and then you have the output sent to a monitor. Once you install the Rec Central software, you just hit record and it starts recording, or you can also set up to do streaming. I like that this supports 1080p 60, but also 4K 30. So if you want to have a higher frame rate, lower resolution, you can do that or if you want the detail, you can go with the 4K. And since this presents itself as a webcam to the computer, it's going to be compatible with lots of other software besides Rec Central. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.